Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. And if we're meeting for the first time, welcome. My name is Jess. We are going to be diving into messages from your person. So this is the overarching energy that this person wants to say to you or the overarching theme that spirit wants to, the message that spirit wants to pass on about this person. Most of you guys, this message is going to be about love and relationships. I'm actually setting the intention that love is something that is the predominant message here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what you're here for, that's what you're looking for. If not, this might not be the best reading for you because I'm focusing specifically on that energy. So we have three card piles to choose from. Pile number one is right here but I will be shuffling from this golden tarot deck. So I'm gonna allow that to be something that will help you make your choice, make your option. Pile number two is right here. I don't know these oracle cards yet other than the one that's at the top. And the card deck that I will be shuffling for you is this one. And for the final pile, your cards are right here. You can't see them because they're off the camera. But the card pile, the tarot that I will be, tarot deck I'll be using, I'll be shuffling from this tarot deck right here. So I'm going to link all the timestamps down below. And a big shout out and thank you to the person who requested this type of video. I know that you guys love pick a card readings. Sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to share them on my YouTube channel, but because I like to focus on channeled messages, but I'm happy to, to do this for you guys today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin for you and I will meet you of course at your timestamp. All right my love if you chose the first pile for this golden tarot this is your message message from your person. I have your oracle cards propped up in the meantime but let's go ahead and dive into your future person your present person what is the energy here if you chose this first pile. Um, interesting. I feel like I'm looking for it. So I saw the judgment card here. Mm hmm. I saw the judgment card here first, and right away, that's, and there it is. So right away, it's telling, yikes. Right away, it's talking about um, some really insane amount of awakening within this person or within you guys within your relationship or within you and this person is realizing that I think that this is energy that's been long overdue we have four of swords ten of wands judgment card ten of swords and nine of swords this is something that's long overdue it's like a much needed overhaul over this relationship this connection I also get a strong sense that this is an energy that's gone on for quite some time. This is not a brand new relationship. If this feels brand new to you, I would need to know what would have had to happen to bring you guys to this point so quickly. Um, this person has a lot, or the, this person looks at this relationship or looks at life right now. They are going through tumultuous, tumultuous energy, tumultuous, tumultuous Every day, I, I'm. If this isn't something that they are actively battling right now, it's the their their choice of action, the way that they live their life, is going to be leading into a, a, a brutal awakening to change the course of how they've been living. Um, this, as I'm saying, I'm almost not getting uncomfortable, but. I feel like there's different ways that this can show up and those ways are you if, if for the universe to come through and step forward in such an aggressive manner it's because this is not constructive to the person if this is energy if this is if this energy is your relationship and how you guys are man, like maneuvering through your relationship or how you feel within your relationship you're about to get a, a really strong awakening into 
freeing you from this type of energy because spirit does not, I can't, this is not going to continue on, you know, in the same way. There has to be a rude awakening. Someone, I want to caution that someone might have a sense or both people within this relationship might have a sense that the, oh, did you see that? My candle just popped. So right away, this is already talking about everything is going to change within this relationship dynamic. If you are, if this is a third party type of energy, someone is going to have a come to Jesus type of moment, you know, for lack of a better word, when they start realizing that, you know, this, this relationship isn't helping me, it's not serving me, so I want to exit out of it. However, if this person is moving away from one person and making its way to you, I would be really careful that you're you're not taking on the baggage of that relationship, the emotional baggage. I also hate to be the one to say this, but make sure that you're not living in a cloud of, of fantasy of what you wish that this could be or what you want it to be, that you're not seeing it for what it actually is. If, if this person, oh, um, Spirit is saying that if someone within this relationship has to change or make change within themselves, they're the ones that have to initiate it. They're the ones that have to want it. It can't be you and vice versa. Uh, if you made a promise to live better or to that you want more for yourself, you, you have to go for it. You, you really have to go for it. There's certain things that need to honestly be laid to rest. Um, very tumultuous energies in this. I just heard in this chapter. So for some of you guys, wow. For some of you guys, this might be a season that you're in within your relationship, within your connection. That has gone through so much. Yeah. But literally all of it has been here to serve you in your own growth so that you can awaken, you know, and, and awaken like courage or awareness or life within you. Spirit is trying to Uh, I want to say grow you out of this. I I didn't. What an interesting start to the readings. Like this is the most um, very very tough. This energy is very tough. You have the death card, magician card, and the hermit card reverse. I'm concerned that there's something that you're not seeing or not addressing within this relationship. The message from your person is that they're either going through some type of transition or transformation around themselves this could be career lifestyle whole hall whatever it is is impacting the entire connection it doesn't just like stop in one area right so if this is like work stress and this person is without a job or financial burden or trying to make a relationship work and trying to be loyal but also feeling exhausted by the relationship especially you guys' history these are the type of energies that this tarot reading is kind of giving this person would love to take a break or a rest i also feel like they don't it's almost like in a perfect world they would want it to be it or to work or to be easier is what it is that i'm hearing I think there's this big question mark on how do we make this easier or how do we make this work? And I think the question now is intuitively, not that is it worth it to try and make it work, but like, do we both have what it takes to make this happen? I don't know why I just want to continue to ask you are both parties wanting this in the same way or does someone have to veer off and take care of something this kind is kind of giving the energy that someone might need to have a split from someone might need to split from the relationship in order to focus on what needs to happen here someone this might 
they might want this relationship, but they might also have so much going on with like family or business or life or addiction. I wouldn't be surprised if their addiction was a factor in this or some type of overhaul that's happening within their life. And that's what's their energy is showing, showing through. I don't think that they want to be a part. I, again, I, I, it be, I think that there's, I keep hearing that there's just so much that happened in this connection that it's hard to, like, I just feel if there was, if we could start all over again, I would love that. You know, I would give it a fair, or if I could start from the beginning, I would have done the things differently. I don't know if this applies to your relationship or I don't know, or if this applies to choices and decisions that we make within our life that we sometimes regret, but the level of regret and remorse maybe even shame is very, is a standout here. Talk to me about, yeah, King of Wands. So at the very base of this reading, we have King of Wands energy. So this is someone who is really, it's bringing in a lot of independent energy. So this person is going to want to veer off and have an awakening of sorts. If they haven't already, or if they're not showing signs of it, this is incoming. Or it might be flipped, and this is what they see within you, that there's this huge transition and transformation that's happening here. And independence, like doing things your way, going off on your own terms to figure yourself out, to learn yourself, to know what you want, is definitely showing up here. Any last messages from this person? Yeah. Temperance card. There's a chance that this person will be able to figure it out and work it out. I say that with a lot of caution. Can you do me a favor and look up the symbolism of the iris? Because that's going to be very symbol symbolic for you. This person needs to find themselves or figure things out. Or you, or this is what you're going to be needing to do during this time. Or that's what this person senses. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Be very careful about conflict. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Lovers. And this is when I want to kind of, and then the Ten of Cups. So this Oracle card is really standing out to me. You'll find what you seek. Do you, I'm sure you've heard this before, maybe you've heard of this from this partner, maybe this is what you're saying to your partner, um, but when someone's like, listen, you deserve the world, I don't, I don't know if I can give that to you. And I feel like that's this message from this person, seven of pentacles, the lover's card, eight of wands, three of pentacles, and then ten of cups. It's like this desire to want to give someone the entire world. And they're, they don't, they're trying to assess how that can happen. Oh, my boyfriend just texted me and he said, I love you. He's so cute. Sorry, guys. I got distracted. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, um, yeah, and then, like, that's the thing. Like, you deserve, deserve the whole world. You really do. I don't feel like there's a lack of chemistry or, wow, um, I, I, I don't think that there's a lack of chemistry or attraction here in this relationship. I, or desire, there's just des probably a, a strong desire to be together, but also individually, I think both parties or one party within this connection needs to have a brutal Sometimes it's brutal, but a, a huge awakening or they're awakening within themselves that it's like, if this, okay, let's say if you're married, right? This is one of those, and you guys have been married forever. These are, this is that time in the relationship. And I think it happens a lot. I've heard that it happens a lot where you're, you're, you've been together forever, but you're constantly evolving. And this person has to not explore options, but kind of 
change in life a little bit because their growth is taking them in a different direction. It doesn't mean that they're not wanting to be in the relationship or the marriage or that the marriage is at risk or at a threat at like collapsing. It just means that a little bit of space, a lot of bit of space is needed so that partner can explore the world. Um, or you may need to, I don't want to say compromise, but there's this level of, okay, does what you want and what I want, are they the same things and how do we make this work? That's best case scenario here. Worst case scenario is this is someone or you, someone, okay, this is someone within the connection realizing that this is a lot, you know, that this is a lot, whether it be the drama that led up to this moment right now or I need to take a break, or I don't want this anymore, or you deserve better, you know, one of those types of things. People always say that right before they break up. You know, I, I it's not you, it's me. <laughs> You'll find what you seek out there, you know. It's just tough. Yeah, start where you are. So for those of you guys that are, you have a, a cohesive relationship where both people are pouring into each other, there is the chance to, from the ground up, because we have Ten of Swords here, this is hitting rock bottom. It says start from where you are, build from where you are. Um, you'll know if this is something that is can work out. If you don't know, you're going to know very, very soon, especially with the Magician card, you're about to find out big time about to find out how who is your partner who is working for you and who can't figure it out doesn't have what it takes and that is where you're gonna you know you're gonna have to start over you're, you'll start fresh or you'll take a break and pour into yourself king of wands follow the king of wands advice and fill your time in your life with things that give you that fulfill you some of you guys might have um if this is a relationship, you might have, you might be starting a business or life brings you to a certain point and you have to start over. There's a lot of anxiety, but you know that you can do it together and you can build together. Just start where you are right now. Oh, wow. I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh, goodness. See, wild cherry, passion and fire. So there's no, there's no lack of love here or there's no lack of passion and desire here. Where that desire is showing up, if it's attraction or ambition or... I don't want to say that this could be a third-party situation. I feel like there's a really small chance that there's an outside entity that's getting a little too cozy into this. That's a very, very small chance. But I wouldn't throw that off the table. Either way, you're going to know. This is not a quiet, oh, I wonder. You're gonna, you're, if you don't know now, you're gonna find out soon. Um, so messages from your person, the overarching message I think that I would, I'm getting from this, not I think, that I know that I'm getting from this, is someone who is trying their best, but is their best enough, is there, is, do you guys want, is there, there's this question of, do you want the same thing? Are we going in the same direction? Can we make this work? Um, if we are staying together, how do we incorporate space or individual passions? Or how do we, eh, you know, how do we, yeah. And are we meant to be together? For someone, if you were to ask that question, they'll say, I'll do what it takes. There, you need to be able to see it. You'll you'll need to be able to see it. It's not just all talk and this. I need to see it. Three of Pentacles. Show me. I hear you saying that you're doing your best. What does your best look like? What can I expect? And if you drop the ball on that, I mean, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see you drop the ball, and then from there, we're gonna have to start where we're at, which is. This ain't, this ain't it, you know? So, whew, I was not expecting a difficult read to start. I hope that that gave someone clarity. I hope that that didn't discourage anyone. I, you're gonna definitely please let me know 
what happens here. Please. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to beg or anything like that, but I do want to know. Okay, I'm going to move on to the second, the second reading. Okay. Okay, my love, if you chose the second card pile, this is your reading. Messages from your person. Now again, this could be a love connection, which I'm hoping that it is. Relationships. And again, another shout out to the person that requested this pick a card reading. Why does this feel so aggressively sloppy right now? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Star Card, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Three of Cups, King of Wands. Interesting. The King of Wands keeps showing up. I was wondering if anybody from pile number one would pour over into pile number two, because I kind of get a, gen a general, I kind of feel you guys here. <sighs> Message from your person, this person is, <laughs> I just heard, you gotta fight <laughs> for your life <laughs> to party. I don't see this as partying. I see this as the inevitable. Well, actually, look, Three of Cups is here. I didn't see that. Um, I see this as someone fighting for good times. Like, And by fight, I mean it's like we are going to... Uh, this person, five of, five of Wands here, King of Wands, Nine of Wands, they are not giving up. Like, uh, I won't give up on you. Like, there's this message of I'm not giving up. Um, this could show up in this person's career or external life, especially if this is masculine energy. Doesn't matter how they identify, it's coming up, it's coming through as very masculine, or this is how they see you. They, they, I actually feel, you guys, it's, okay, I feel like you guys have chose each other because you have very similar mirroring energies. I don't know if you're both equally ambitious or very athletic or very outgoing. This this level of fight is not, I don't see this as an internal battle. I see this as I, we are working together as a team. She makes me try to be my best self. I wanna be great. I see this person as great. You see them as great. They just, there's this mutual, what I envy about you is ultimately what you kind of see within them. And they just, also, there's this, if you guys aren't together in a connection, they have a crush on you, or they're, they, they, it, it, if, if it's not a crush, it's like they respect you greatly, like they, they, you're something to strive for, you're something to, like, prove yourself for, like, if this is, if you guys are, if you've been in a relationship, this is the person who still feels like they try to get your attention, even if you guys have been married for like 10, 15, 20, 30 years. They, I don't want to say that it gives them the butterflies in the stomach, but they still feel like they have something to prove with you, not in a negative way, but just like, I, this person, like, let's say if you're she right now, um, this, they would be, they would be the one to say, like, she really... I can't believe she chose me, and I just, she's, to me, she's the whole world, and I'll do anything, and I do do anything, you know, it's this need to, but it feels like healthy, it feels like a healthy, competitive, I'm gonna do what it takes. If this is um, a middle ground relationship, meaning like, you guys haven't been together 15 years, but you haven't been together like two weeks, or you're not together, you know what I mean, it's like an in-between of that, this is someone who, if you guys have had, I don't want to say conflict in the past, but if you've had to work things out or talk about things in the past, this is them trying to incorporate what they've learned from you into the present moment because they want to do what, do whatever to make it work. 
Also, you might, this is a relationship right now that is starting to pivot. You, that you might have a new baby or you might be figuring out children, especially with three of cups here. This is energy of like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. This person might do longer hours in the job in order to create financial stability for your family, the growth of the family or the, the expansion of the family. I would not be surprised to see that or hear you say that. This person says, honestly, the message that I'm hearing from this person is that they really do, I don't say envy you, but they, they, you inspire them. You really do inspire them. You inspire them to be great. You inspire them to try. Some of them, some of them are watching you like in the gym working out and they're just like really encouraging you and can't believe that you are doing it with them or without them. You know what I mean? Um, if this is, this is a very specific message, but if you are someone who has lost your partner, they are coming through with a really strong message of, I'm still like, I still love you. I, I thought, you know, that like, there's just, you're, you're, there's no way that you don't know that is what they're saying. And they just, they're so proud of you. And they're so, they see your ambition. They see your fight. They see your like I'm not giving up. You're ten you're this tenacious spirit, and you just refuse to to break. And they are really saying like this that that's why like you're this is why like you're the one I love. You're more than just a face. You're more than a body. Like there's so much about you that this person loves. And you were just so different than all the others. You're the full package. I just, they, I keep feeling like they just absolutely, envy is not the word, but they're just so like in awe of you. But it's interesting because if I was to sit down with you, I feel like you would say the same thing about them. And that's one of the reasons, like one of the things that you guys had together or have together is this mutual fight. Wherever that fight shows up, it comes through and it's like, I wouldn't want, me personally, I wouldn't want to compete with you because I already know. <laughs> you got like, you win, like you win. I just, I just wanted to show up and do my best today. Um, this is all you, like this is, <laughs> you got this one, like I'm... I'm not trying, I don't, I don't, like, me personally, I love that I'm inserting myself in you guys' relationship right now. Tell your man I said hi. Oh, that sounded weird. That sounded so weird. I didn't mean it like that. Um, <laughs> you guys know, you guys know. Um, I, it's all good on this end. Like, I'm your best friend, I promise, I promise. Um, but yeah, like, this is all you. Like, this, you just, I'm not here to, <laughs> even as I'm sitting here, I'm just like, damn, like, someone this person sees you like that you see them like that and i'm just i'm sitting here and i'm in awe like i'm impressed i don't know what this is um but you got it <laughs> you got it whatever it is so very nice reading i love this let's look at your oracle cards real quick yeah see me in their eyes so i i always whenever this card shows up this oracle card shows up i always see it as someone who really shines a light wherever they go in life, but sometimes the people who shine the brightest don't always necessarily see it. And I feel that's how they see you. Um, and they want you to see them in that same light. And you do. So it's just interesting that you guys have this mutual. Yeah, you are destined for greatness on the wings of love, exactly. So there's so much that they're just like, you can do anything, you can have anything, and you chose me, or you're doing this, and I just like, ah! Like, that's the vibe that I get from this person. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Do you see the energy here? Just like, you got what it takes. <laughs> yeah, you will be surprised. And I feel like this is this message here, Eight of Wands. Um, I think that there will be something that comes through here, like a blessing. I'm also seeing like a shooting star. If it's like a meteor that blasts through the across the sky there might also be engagement here i wouldn't be surprised oh see literally you will be surprised i wouldn't be surprised if you were surprised yeah veneration and legacy this person really holds you in such high regard it's it's really nice to to be in this energy right now it's really really nice really really nice 
So yeah. All right, my loves. Thank you so much. That's your message from your person. Your the main overarching message is not I envy you. I don't know why. I just I don't have a better word for it. it's like I celebrate you. I see you. Like wow. That's their mo most of their message. All right, I'm gonna move on to the third and final. All right, so for my final pile, last but not least, this is the message from your person. Hopefully this is um, in regard to a love connection because that's what I'm setting intention for. Whoa, wow. First card to jump out was the Ace of Pentacles and let me tell you, I see a lot of hefty weight and value here. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, then we have Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Reverse, Three of Wands. Clarify the Chariot for me. Whoa. King of Cups, Reverse, Clarify. Page of Cups, Upright. And Clarify, Page of Pentacles, please. Wow, a lot of cards jumped out. Let me look at the bottom of this reading, the Sun card. Yeah, this person... person really is is uh, I want to say they want to offer you the world like they really hold you in high regard this is someone that clarify let me nine of pentacles wow yep the world card here queen of wands yeah there's a lot of attraction here this person is, I'm getting this strong sense that they are very, very, very happy since they've met you. Um, I think that they were doing okay before they met you, but there was always this like missing energy and they stopped looking or stopped expecting. And then you came <laughs> and they stopped looking. Like they, it's like they stopped looking for they stopped think they stopped having hope in the future like they stopped hoping that this was going to like they would ever be able to find the one i think that they not to say that they might have been this is giving like newer relationships by the way guys so this feels like under 2 years of a relationship if it's a longer relationship i wouldn't be surprised if you guys are disconnected and you might be in a, in a pause there's this a person who wants to offer you like everything they want to build with you when they aren't when they weren't with you before they met you there was not they were just kind of going with the motions of life like life was good but there was a missing piece to this and they stopped but and while and they were hopeful but then when they couldn't find that missing piece they stopped looking for it then when you came in they stopped looking for anything because they found what they were looking for. Does that make sense? If there's a separation or split within this connection, this person deeply mourns the depth of this relationship. I'm almost getting a sense that there this could this is a two pile where someone is with this person or they separated. If you separated, this person deeply mourns and has not been able to replace you. Um, they might also be traveling and on the go because they don't want to be home. They're like looking, they're just, they stop looking. Like they just, they just think that they will never find another person like you. If you are in a relationship, this person sees the future with you, wants to build the future with you. He, they're very happy with you. I feel like they are trying to emotionally prepare themselves for what is next I th because they take this connection so seriously. They are working on forever with you. The lover's card is definitely here. Normally I'm tough with the lover's card. 
that's just my nature but the lover's card in this case to me is giving like you are my person and I'm not gonna find anyone anywhere like you they're not even like they're not absent-minded with that like they don't they know they know that someone like you it's kind of giving me the song like Adele never mind I'll find someone like you but you say that but like will you If this, if you guys separated, this person and they, um, this is an ex or someone that you have feelings for, they're, they're on your heart, this person has given up on, I don't want to say love, um, but they've given up on the feeling of intensity and they have almost separated themselves from that part of themselves that would love as deeply as they did with you. So if they're in a relationship right now, it's almost like a relationship built on convenience. I hate to say that, but it's just like easy for them. And that's a part of them that they're like, okay with it. It's like, I don't, I know I could never understand people who make choices like that. Maybe one of you guys can explain it to me, but I've always been a person who is very like all or nothing. And I've always known that I'm destined for a great love, the lover's card here. Right. Um, I can't, for me, I don't understand when people have a great love and they don't do the work or they don't do what it takes, I guess, what their heart really wants them to do in order to make it work because their ego or other things pull them in different directions. So they take the easy way out and they, they choose the next partner or relationship based upon convenience and ease, knowing that they're lacking in depth of love, depth of connection, and even attraction. Like you could have so much more, but because you want to fiddle around with life i don't know how to say this but as i'm saying that five of pentacles reverse here and the death card reverse they're going inside themselves they have to go within themselves inside themselves in this space of barrenness and emptiness um and sit with it until they can figure this out um if you are happily in a relationship with this person this person is and it's such extremes here like right like holy shit but um, if you're in a relationship with someone this is your forever person, this person is growing very quickly. Like their cup is filling up very quickly. Their emotional cup is filling up very quickly by the love that it is that you you guys have for each other and it pours into each other. Even with the two of pentacles just sitting there, it's two things that are set into motion to figure this out. It's really balancing. You might actually feel the same thing that you feel like you're being poured into in this relationship in a place in your life that was barren and empty and void. And that is awakening a tremendous amount of love within you. This person loves you greatly, whether you're in a relationship with them or if this is an ex, they'll never find someone like you. They'll never find someone like you. If they, but I want to say that they do have freedom of choice here, the will, like the choice here. Um, but they have to choose what they're going, what path they're going to take. If they choose this relationship, they're, they're going to have to do a lot of growing within themselves. And I feel like the, the fear of that trumps all of what they could have. And some people are just like that. Um, if this is a relationship right now, this person is doing everything. If, they, if you guys are in a relationship together right now and you're happy, um, this person is doing a lot to, this person is being filled up a lot by this relationship and it is all working to gain even more clarity into you, you guys' future together. And as far as next steps, this person is working on next steps for the relationship whatever that means, whether it be offering commitment, a ring, or something. Wow. Okay, let's look into your oracle. All there is to love has been there all along exactly. So this is a love that's not going anywhere. I just heard also like promise. So someone might have given a promise ring or something like that, like they mean it prepare to be astounded. And I think that that's, of course, the future, but I also see this as just so blown away by the, the impact of love can have on a person. 
it's not only about being right. It's interesting because with this card, I feel like with the chariot card here, there's card of choice. So this person might have had to pivot a lot in their, maybe not a lot, but in one way, in a great way, in order to, because this love that you guys have is very, like, do you remember how I said in the very beginning that this person had, that this person had everything um, in their life beforehand? Um, for the most part, except that one great love, and then they found you and they're just like, maybe their ego or whatever, and then they're like, wow, like I stopped looking for this. This, so when they were moving around before you, if this is if you guys are in a relationship together right now, if you were, if they were moving okay before they met you and then they met you and everything was great there are choices and decisions that they need are that they need to make now in order to keep both what they had going on prior and also maintaining a relationship now that does not mean this person is very committed so that does not mean that there's an external outside party or anything like that i, I think it's more like work-life balance especially with eight of pentacles here or family or something right they're they're trying to make it work because it's worth making it work if this is um, someone who's separated, they are battling within themselves the, the love versus the ego. And that's where it's not only about being right about is coming through for that. Yeah, time for a love fest and turn on your love light. Yeah, this person really loves you. Like, for real, for real. And turn on your love light is right here because the more that you, whether you're in this connection with this person or whether you guys had to split, it doesn't matter. The more that you are giving of yourself or giving to yourself and generous with yourself and the more that you are taking care of yourself, your love light just gets brighter and brighter and brighter and the relationship gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Also, some of you guys, this person might feel like their heart might bleed for you. So you might be going through something and they wish that they could fix it for you or make you believe that everything is going to be okay, but they feel kind of powerless within this and they're just asking you to not raise your vibration, but have faith because it makes them so happy to see you happy. And I know that sounds so selfish. Like, you want me to put a smile on my face when I'm not? It's not even like that. Like, this person just really wants to do, and will do whatever it takes to make. And honestly, this person is pretty intuitive. If they're telling you that everything is going to be okay, I would believe them. Even if it's a man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, though. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, yeah. Pokey, poke weed, change, and movement. So we have the chariot card here, and we also have change and movement, which is very telling. So this relationship is in the midst of incredible change. I will say that this feels very positive. I Even if you guys are separated or split, there is a change that's happening within that person. And this is why your love light needs to be turned on. That is awakening this person to greatness and how transformative true love can be. I'm not someone that says hold on to hope within a connection if you are deciding to move on. You know where you're at within this. I'm just saying that change is happening here. If you guys are in a happy, healthy relationship and you're very happy together, this change or this movement in your relationship feels very positive. It feels very, very positive. It feels very good. It's in a really excellent, excellent movement here towards a greater level of commitment. That's where, that's what's being changed here. And I love that. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and move along into the rest of my activities. Actually, I think I might take a break now. I've been pretty much working all day. Um, but yeah, I'm sending you all of my love. Of course, if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com working my magic and bahati love notes is still active it's my daily shuffling of cards and channeling messages every single day usually every single day um it was five dollars a month it's 15 now um for those of you guys that are struggling with the resources to to receive that just let me know i'm always willing to help um 
you know, extend a helping hand. You guys already know I love to help help you guys out. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging in, and I will see you in my next video.